couldn't have been up. We've got to hear the sight of God in the presence of this company to join together this man, this woman. In the holy matrimony, marriage is honorable and state institute of God. Bless our Lord Jesus Christ. And may they be eternally joined together as they abide under the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. If anyone can show just cause why this couple cannot lawfully be joined together in matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> <laughs> Who given this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Keep the solemn vows you're about to make, you're the tender, considerate of each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and truth, and your marriage will last, and your home will endure. The marriage bond will be a blessing to you, and you will be a blessing to others. The couple now will now recite their own vows. Jesse, we both know how indecisive I can be at times. I just really do not like making decisions. But if there's one decision that I'm sure of, it's this one, to spend the rest of my life with you. There are an infinite number of things that I love about you. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to keep me grounded. I love the loyalty that you have to me in this relationship. I love the way you weirdly get excited about home decor. And I love how when you laugh really hard, your one eye starts to crinkle up. I promise to be patient with you, even if that means that I have to listen to another one of your crazy ideas to start a business. But I do promise to encourage these dreams because that's what makes you unique and wonderful. I promise to nurture you. I promise to nurture your dreams because that's that's what makes you unique and wonderful. And I promise to shoulder all of our child challenges because there is not anything that we cannot face if we don't stand together. <coughs> I promise to be your partner in all things, not possessing you, but working with you as a part of the whole. And lastly, I promise to give you perfect love and perfect trust. I promise I choose you. I want to be the woman to stand by your side, to sleep in your arms, to be the joy to your heart and the food to your soul to learn with you and to grow with you even as life continues to change us both. I promise to laugh with you in the good times and struggle alongside you in the bad times. I promise to respect you and cherish you as an individual and a partner and as an equal. I'm sure that everyone here celebrating with us would agree that we are absolutely made for each other. And you have helped me overcome so much in my life and you've pulled me out of some of my darkest places. You are heaven sent and I love you, my angel. May for one lifetime, with you can never be enough. This is my sacred vow to you and my equal in all things. I'll always have your six. <laughs> Dear Alyssa, here's the reason. Here's the reason why I chose to spend eternity with you until death do us part. I don't even know where to start, so please bear with me. I don't know if I start by expressing how beautiful you are or how brutal you are. With that being said, I'm going to start off by telling you, ever since the very first day that I met you, those beautiful eyes of yours caught my attention. <laughs> I had not seen the woman of my dreams until I laid eyes on you. I would have never thought I would have this opportunity with you today. I love everything about you, not just your stunning eyes, but everything to include your curly hair, which irritates me at times while I'm trying to fall asleep and your hair is just all over the place. Here's another thing that I would like for you to know. I love how serious you take education to better not only your future, but our future together. I love your hard work, your dedication and eagerness to be the best person you can possibly be is starting to pay off. Stay strong, baby girl. If only you knew, I would give you the world if I could. One thing I like to tell people, believe it or not, is that I am one of the luckiest men on this earth because I have you by my side. You play a huge role in my success today, and I would like to say thank you for always pushing me to be the best person I can be. Here's the moment you've been waiting for. My promise to you, you being the love of my life. I promise to protect you to the point that I will risk my own life before I let you risk yours. I promise to love you and stay by your side forever. I 
I promise to be the best father I can be one day when we have kids of our own. Those are my vows. My vows that I take very serious and promise to never break. I love you and I can't wait to call you my wife. The wedding ring is a complete circle without the beginning of end. It is an outward and visible sign and an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in trust and in this love. So thank you. <laughs> Jesse, would you repeat after me? With this ring, I do wed. With this ring, I do wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You may place the ring on the Let us repeat after me. With this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You may place the ring. <laughs> <laughs> And as much as you, Jesse, and you, Alyssa, have so consented in marriage and have witnessed the name the same to me before our Heavenly Father, and these witnesses, by virtue of the authority that you vested in me as a minister of the gospel, and by the law of the state of four, I do now pronounce you husband and wife, <laughs> joined in holy bonds of marriage. You may now kiss your brother. <laughs> may I be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Williams.
more likely to steal all the covers on those cold nights. <laughs> Who's the louder snorer? <laughs> Last one. Who do you love most in this whole damn world? Hey, make some noise for my newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Kent, ladies and gentlemen.